Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make this bow now. So normally when you make this bow, you start in the middle and you have both tails the same length. As you can see, they're too long. So this time, you start at one side of the ribbon, you make the collar bow, you decide how big you want to make the neck of the bow and how long you want to have this tail. It's completely up to you. You have the crossover and there's your bow. You bring the back of the neck into the front of the neck so everybody at this stage knows that bow. If we have any newbies, you need to go back and practice the single bow before you even attempt to do the double bow. There's absolutely no way I can teach you the double one if you don't know how to make the single one. Now with this long piece of ribbon that's left over, I'm going to fold it up to make a third loop, stop in the middle, fold it down to make a fourth loop and stop in the middle. Where people forget is they fold it right up and come back over the top, that's wrong, okay? So you fold it up, you make a third loop and you stop in the center. The ribbon, because my ribbon has a pattern on one side, normally I just come back down like that for handiness, but because the pattern is only on one side of the ribbon, I have to come over the top and again, I'll cross it over there in the center. So there is my four loops and my two tails. And at this stage, you kind of think, oh, that looks like it's going all over the place. Keep one finger down here, do you see in that V? And keep one finger up here in that V and turn it actually on its side. And then you're going to do the gathering, the puckering, the squeezing or the squashing, whatever way you want to describe that word. So a little bit of a pleat, a little bit of a squash, a little bit of a pucker and a little bit of a squeeze. So squash it all in there. You're going to get a wire. You could use a skinny bit of ribbon, by the way, if you're finding this hard to do. Wrap the wire around, short bit of wire, long bit of wire. Squeeze the two pieces of wire together. Long piece of wire gets wrapped around the short piece of wire three or four times and straighten back out again. Turn your bow around and then fix the loops. So fluff them back out again. Use your finger and your thumb like the pliers. Fluff them back out again. And then you can angle off the two tails. And for speed, I normally place the two ribbons on top of each other, fold them both in half, do the little um, 45 degree angle up into it. And that's the way I get the two of them cut at the same time. And the two of them are going to be roughly the same length. So you could have all these bows made in advance. And there's your bow to put on your wreath. Okay.